Hey, Shalom and welcome. This is Rakam Akapash from Jim Eslan, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Chakwadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles, the GMS, and Shalom I'm out there to the hopeful for all that is truth and all sincerity. Back again with another video. Um, I'm going to entitle this one We Can't Help the Non Elect. The Non Elect Can't Be Helped, right? Because the Lord's mercy is only upon His elect, right? It's only on the chosen. Right, not all of Israel, right, are the chosen. Yes, the nation of Israel are the chosen people. Yes, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and our descendants scattered abroad are the chosen people of the Lord. Okay, if you you know, if you descend from um, you know the tribes, right. But the Lord is not choosing everybody on this side to receive salvation. Right, a large portion of our people are going to be destroyed in, in various different manners. Very. <laughs> Very gruesome manners, right? All different types of death the most I got in store for the wicked of our people, right? Because the wicked of our people do not want to repent, right? They don't want to get right with the Heavenly Father and they're not going to, right? And so there is no help in them, right? The Lord have already discarded them in, 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 in that sense, right? To receive this, to receive the judgment, all right? <coughs> and so when, you know, IUIC beginning with Nate or in these different communities, right? Because these these are uh, community Israelites, right? Baal birth Israelites, <laughs> Israelites uh, united in confusion, right? When when you go IUIC up in these communities, talking about you know we got the answers, we're gonna we need to stop the the, the killings in in the hoods and you know in these different places or whatever the case would be. They ain't gonna they can't do a damn thing, right? Because the Mosai has a plan for these these dudes that are getting whacked, right? They were meant to get whacked, and you ain't gonna stop that, okay? The Mosai is bringing judgment upon his own people, right? And just because you know you got ninety percent of the truth, right? It's decreasing ever more though, right? But just because you got you got a portion of the truth, doesn't mean you're gonna save all the souls of Israel in the in the in the, in the area. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's not going to happen unless the of the elect it is not going to happen, right? Because the Lord is only having mercy on His elect. These niggas are going to kill each other, man, and that's how the Lord wants it, right? And there's there's nothing we can do about it as as men, the Lord as prophets, as men with this 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 truth, this knowledge, right? We can only um, you know present you the understand the message in the scriptures, right? We don't seal nobody. We don't determine who gets the truth and who doesn't. That's the Lord. The Lord decides who are who are His and who ain't His, right? We're here simply to break down these scriptures to you, man, and and, and you know whether these people uh, hear or forbear, right? That is all down to the Lord. Whether the Lord, the Lord wants you or not, if you are part of His elect or not, okay. If you ain't, you're gonna be subject to all these um, atrocities that are, are taking place in these different, um, you know, in these different communities and different, uh, you know, these different areas and stuff, right? I say like, nothing can be done to help, right? The Lord is only having mercy upon His elect, so that's that's as far as it goes. It, you know, you ain't you ain't really doing anything other than, you know, putting some PR stunt in in front in the eyes of the public, right? You ain't really doing anything other than that, right? You can't do what you what you're saying that you go and do, because it's not in your power. Right, so it's just lies essentially. You're just lying, chatting shit, you know, making you sound like you're important. Okay, when, when you when you ain't. But um, but let's open up with this Romans eleven verse seven. It says um, yeah, I'll just grab this right. It says what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. Right, it's the you know this 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 truth, this salvation. That's uh, you know the promises, everything. You know, Israel has been looking for it. It's not obtainable for by all Israelites, right? It's not obtainable, right? The Lord has not uh, made it obtainable for the, the vast majority of Israelites on this side. Okay, they're gonna have to get it through the, the, the Lord's elect on the other side in the kingdom, right? It says Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it. And the rest were blinded, right? The rest have been made blind. That's why you got niggas in the street killing each other and, 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 and do all, all kind of heinous acts. They won't turn to the Lord. Okay, they won't turn to the Lord, man. 
So you go into these communities talking about how you're gonna save so-called black people, right? It, it just it just doesn't fit. It it doesn't it doesn't run with the um with the with the with the most high's uh, agenda, right? The Lord's gonna use these these different issues like dudes, man, to do all these vile acts against against one another. You know, so these killings are not gonna stop. They're gonna continue. They're gonna increase, right? Because that's all part of prophecy. Chaos is is uh, going to grow in the earth. Okay, you're not going to lessen it, right? The only people that are going to be saved from it are the Lord's elect, right? Which is a small portion of His people. Okay. Verse eight says, "According as it is written, God have given them the spirit of slumber; they're asleep, and you can't wake these niggas up, man. You can't wake them up. If they're not of the Lord's elect, they ain't going to be waked up. They ain't going to wake up, man." Right? According as it is written, God have given them the spirit of slumber. Right? Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Right? So they're not going to hear what you've got to say, man. And, and, and even if, <laughs> even if, right, UIUIC has managed to convert some of them, guess what? They're still not the chosen. They're still blinded because they're, they're following your false doctrines, your false philosophies. Right? Your, your false, uh, well, your inaccurate breakdowns of things. So they're still blinded. The most I still, you know, it's still blinding them and using you to blind them. So you're not helping nobody. Right? Because you need 100% of this truth, man, to be, to, to, you know, to be delivered. You have to understand what it is. Right? In order for you to pass the, 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 the final test that the most is going to bring upon us, man. Right? You get the MOTB role, man, you're, you're finished. You know, you're finished, you're done. Alright? <clears throat> Verse 9 it says, they, And David saith, it's King David, right? Let their table be made a snare. Okay, the, the table is these scriptures, right? And, and, and a lot of people are, are, in, are into these scriptures, right? Thinking that they're deep, thinking that they, they know shit, right? And, and really, they've just been caught up in this trap that the Messiah has set for them, thinking that they know what it is that they're talking about or what it is that they're doing, right? And you know, when when you when you uh, shine a light on these dudes, man, it's it's, <laughs> bro, it's it's scary, right? Everything's you know, tons of holes everywhere. I mean, these people are not doing what they're saying they're doing, right? They don't really know what this is about. You ask them questions, they don't know. They don't know the name of the Lord. They don't know, you know, they don't know break, you know, certain breakdowns and whatever. It's just it's it's scary. <laughs> it's scary, man. Right? They don't know. Right? So their their table has been made a snare. Okay, same with these wacky tacky Christians, man. They're, they're up in the churches right, thinking that they know the scriptures and they just don't. Right? It says, um, let their table be made be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them, right? So the most has purposely put a stumbling block in front of the majority of our people, man, to fail, to fall and be broken. Right? But the elect, they're going to, you know, succeed where others have failed. Right, because the Lord is going to give them the correct knowledge, right, the right understanding. Okay. Verse ten: Let their eyes be darkened that they may they may sorry. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, right, and bow down their back always. Okay. So that's what the Lord is, is doing to these dudes, man. There's nothing, not what He can do for them. There's no, there's no helping them. There's no saving them, right. The Lord is already. Uh, condemn them in the spirit, right? And they have to they have to wait out their judgment, man. How, in whatever form it, that it comes, all right. So let me grab this from Matthew chapter nineteen, right? And um, I just want to get this point. You know, this is going into uh, you know into into rich men when you read above, right? How I is speaking on on the rich man, right? To how hard it is for the rich man to get into the kingdom, right? Because he has great Great substance, great riches, and, and most, most, I'm gonna say most, most men in that kind of situation is not are not prepared to give up everything that they have to serve the Lord to 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 you know receive persecution in standing for this truth, all right. But the point I want to get here is in verse twenty five, based on what I've, I've I've just been saying about the the wicked of our people, right, the non-elect, right. So verse 25 says this, When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed and saying, 
who then can be saved? Who can be saved? If, if, if we're saying that, you know, these niggas are going to kill each other, you know, kill, you know, destroy themselves, right? And do whatever it is to each other, right? And nothing can be done to stop them. Who can be saved then? Right? And, and this is what we keep telling you, man. It's all about the elect. Okay? And it's always been about the elect. It's not about the whole nation of Israel. The Most High have given the, the majority of Israel over to Satan, to Esau, right? To wickedness, right? They're going to receive the judgment of the Lord. Right, and they're not gonna come out of that, right? Just like the the, the elect are chosen to, for salvation, the, the rest of our people are chosen for destruction. You can't you can't you know, you know help them change sides. It's not gonna it's not gonna work. If they're not of the elect, they ain't gonna be. They're not gonna be um, <laughs> on our side. You know, they're gonna remain in judgment. <coughs> right. So that's who can be saved. The elect. The elect can be saved. And the elect are a small portion of our people, right? But that's all. The rest, of, the rest of our people are going to be destroyed and suffer, right? For for wickedness' sake, right? <laughs> this is Zechariah chapter thirteen, verse eight. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, right? And this is speaking in the land of America, right? When the Lord brings the um, thermonuclear judgment upon america okay the only people the only the, the, our people the only ones in america that are going to be delivered are the lord's elect the rest of them okay which represents the two thirds or the two parts right here in the scripture represents the wicked of our people okay in the land of america they are going to be destroyed they're going to be cut off and die right but the third which represents the elect shall be left therein right they're going to be delivered they're going to survive okay Right, and so this 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 percentage, this ratio has already been decided, right? So is is this is what's going to happen, right? So there has to be Israelites in these two parts, right? The Most High already decided what Israelites are in these two parts, in these two thirds, you know. So they can't be they can't switch sides. Okay, the Lord has already marked them for destruction, right? And so what that means is that these two parts, man, they're going to take their MOTB. Right, and IYC will be, be right along with them, man. Okay, if they don't fucking get their shit together. You know, they're going to be a part of this two, these two parts here. They're going to be cut off and die. Because they're going to take the MLTB. Right, the RFID, CF, they're going to take it. Right, and they're going to convince everybody in the congregation to take it, man. Unless they're part of the elect, and in, 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 in which case they won't be taken. Right, if there's any elect among them. You know? Verse 9 says, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and we will refine them as silver is refined, right? So we, we don't, we're going to come through tribulation, but they're going to be delivered, right? Because we're going to, uh, uh, Lord willing, we partly let, we're going to uh, overcome the hour of temptation, okay? And, and reject Esau's mark, okay? He's MLTB, all right? So I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and I will try them as gold is tried, right? To, to purify us, right? To make us more pure, right? They shall call on my name, right? So the elect, the chosen, right? Are going to have the name to call upon, okay? We're not going to pretend that we don't know, like some camps, right? Or use uh, some other substitute name that doesn't make any fucking sense, right? It just, <laughs> just some, some Greek or some made up uh, name, and we're not going to do that, right? The elect are going to have the name of the Lord to call upon, right? And I will hear them, right? Because he's going to hear his name be called, and it's going to be it's going to come from his elect, right? So he's going to hear us, right? I will say, it is my people, right? He's going to acknowledge us, right? And they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my God. All right. So that's who could be saved. The two, the, the two thirds are going to be destroyed, and the elect, the one third of America, are going to be delivered, right? And subsequently, the rest of the elect, <clears throat> throughout the, the the four corners of the earth, they're going to be delivered and saved, and and taken up into chariots. Okay, but it can't. It, it's not going to be nobody else. It's not going to be the, these rest of these Israelites, man, that reject reject this truth. You know, so you can't help these dudes, man. You can't help these these goons and thugs in the streets. You can't convert them. You can't teach them that. Unless they're of the elect, you're not going to convert the whole fucking community. You're not going to do that. Wasting that fucking time. You know? 
Uh, this is Romans 9, verse 27. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant, a remnant shall be saved. Right? A small uh, leftover portion. Okay, which re what remnant means, right? A small leftover portion. Right? Because Israel, as a people, are as the sand of the sea, or the stars, or, or, you know, we are many. All over the world, we are many, right? There's, there's tons of us, right? Even hidden among these different nations, there's tons of us, right? And so the portion of, of Israel that are going to be delivered are a very tiny portion in comparison to the whole nation. So that's the remnant, right? Who are also the elect. That's the same, you know, it's the same thing. Okay. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 17. Says, uh, sorry. Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 Enter ye in at the straight gate For wide is the gate And broad is the way that leads to destruction And many, go, many there be which go in threat Because straight is the gate And narrow is the way Which leadeth unto life And few and few there be that find it Right. This is not for the many This is not the, the time or the opportunity For the whole of Israel to be delivered Right. It's for the few Okay so we're not We're not uh, concerned about the, the the whole of our people. Yes, we want you to repent, but if you don't want to repent, hey, we're not going to cry over spilt milk. You know what I'm saying? You can get on with your, with, your, with your day. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do, man. We're just going to let you know, man, the Lord going to take care of you. And, and, and I don't mean in, in a good good way. <laughs> right? Because he will take you out. Right? You won't find out what, what, it, what, it, what it is to turn you back on the Lord. Right? So, we're not concerned about who doesn't want to believe who don't want to join, who don't, uh, who, who don't agree, it, it, simply, it, it simply doesn't matter to us. Right? We're already here concerned for the elect's sake because that is the task that has been given to us, right? to teach on the high and by ways, to, to push this word out right? for the elect's sake, to seal the elect or to help seal the elect. That is our purpose. Our, our purpose is not to save the whole nation, to save communities of Jake. <laughs> That's not what, that's not what we set up to do, man. Okay, so like I say, you're not gonna find us doing what these 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 guys are doing, IYC and and whatever, right? You know, trying to trying to make them themselves themselves a greater name by you know uh, being visible in the community, as as like you know as they put it, right? Basically, is what they're doing. They want to be visible in the community. Want to show we want to show in the community that we're here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why does it matter? You know, we're here for the elect. We're not here for the community, right? The community, the community, of Jake, man. Most of them are gonna be destroyed, right? And so that's not our concern, man. The community is not our concern, right? These communities are gonna go, go down into shit. You know, with these hoods, <laughs> they're gonna, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna dive into chaos, man. Okay, and there's nothing we're gonna do to stop it. All right. And so again, um. Uh, is that what I wanted? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Right, so, yeah, this is for the few. Oops. <clears throat> so, again, uh, yeah. Right, Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Therefore I endure all things. Right, Who, who's speaking? Paul speaking. Right? And that to Timothy, right? So, it says, Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake. Right, so that's exactly what I'm saying. Paul was saying the same thing. Right, what he does, the work that he does, is for the elect's sake. What he goes through is for the elect's sake, because that's who the Yahweh Shai commanded him to teach. Right, to teach the Israelites to 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 fish for the elect. Okay, that is who we're really sent out for. Okay, we can't do nothing about everybody else in Israel. There's nothing that can be done for them. The Most High has rejected them on this side. Okay, so again, therefore I endure all things for the elect's sakes, that they that they may also obtain the salvation. Right, it's not for everybody to obtain the salvation here. Right, which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach with eternal glory. All right, that is what we're out here to do. We're not. It, it, this is not about numbers. It's not about amassing as many Israelites as you can that you can get through the door. 
so you can fucking monetize on them, you know, get money from them and build your empires and build your fucking studios and all this fucking shit, you know, make sure you got pristine garments. This is not what this is about. This is not a business in the sense that we're here to make money for ourselves. This is not that type of business. Okay, we're here doing the Lord's business, you know, profiting him, right? Fulfilling his command for his purpose, not our own, right? This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse 9. It says, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, right? So again, the mercy that the Lord is going to have, because the Lord have mercy upon whom you have mercy, right? And we know the Lord's not having mercy on the whole of Israel on this side before the judgment. Ultimately, he is going to have mercy on the whole of Israel. Right, but that really begins with the elect. The rest of you know, the rest of people are going to be destroyed. Okay, and you will have the, the, the opportunity to come back in the kingdom through our loins, okay, as our children. That is how you're going to obtain the glory, you know, part, you know, the glory of the kingdom off the basis of the elect. Right? Not of your own merit. Because you ain't you wouldn't have deserved it. You turned your back on you ain't gonna you ain't gonna do nothing on your own merit. Okay, it's going to be because of the elect and what they did, beginning with Yahweh Shai and what they did, right, that you're going to be in the kingdom, man. It ain't going to be off your own fucking merit. And that's why you're going to have your, 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 your head down, you know, you're going to be humble. <laughs> you're going to be humble, you know, among other Israelites that are greater than you, i.e. the elect, right? Right, because you're going to know the difference, Right? They would have passed the test. They would have proven themselves to receive the kingdom with Yahweh Shai, unlike the rest of our people. Right? That you 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 obtain the kingdom by default because the elect had had children. <laughs> you know that's the difference, man. All right? So there's, there's going to be uh, you know a, a, a kind of shame that's going to be uh, you know attached to them. Okay, in the spirit that. You know, you got you kind of got this kingdom by default, without being um, really worthy to obtain it. You didn't do anything. In fact, you was working against it. So you always gonna that 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 kind of knowledge uh, in you that that's what you did. You know. But, um, but yeah, let me uh, read that again. It says, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, right? And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints, right? That's who the Most High is giving mercy to, right? His saints, his elect, beginning with his elect, right? And he have care for his elect, right? He's going to look after his elect. And this is who we need in the time of trouble. We need Yahweh, Yahweh Shai in the time of trouble, right? Because these people are quick to, to put their trust in other things thinking that it's going to help them. Okay, everything's going to fail. Okay, and your daddy Esau, <laughs> right, because that's who your daddy is for the for, for most of our people, he's going to fail you. Right, he's going to fail you, man. Okay, your, 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 um, your fucking biceps, your money, anything you think that you, you, you know, you can use to protect your, protect yourself in, in, in times of trouble, man, it's going to fail you. Right, the only one that can offer us protection from all these things it's the same person who's orchestrating it, right? Which is the Heavenly Father, okay? Because this is all His judgment. This is all His will, right? And so if we're, if we're good with the Heavenly Father, we're on the right side of Him, okay? He's he going to take care of us, man. He's going to take care of His elect, okay? Keep them from trouble. Keep them from harm. Not to say we're not going to suffer. Not to say we're not, some of us won't be put to death because we know that's definitely a thing, right? To prove us, to, you know, to, to be as martyrs for for this truth, for this word, for, for, for his son and, and, and for him, right? So let's not say these things won't happen to us, man, but there's glory in, in, in serving the Lord as opposed to serving the world or serving yourself, all right? But the Lord is going to take care of them to make sure that they are able to complete their course and be glorified at the end of it, okay, and receive the reward, right? The Lord is making sure that that is, you know, going to happen for them. All right, verse 10, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord, right? That's, that's, these, that's 
the, the unelect, that's the wicked of our people. They have rejected the Lord, have forsaken the Lord, neglected the righteous. I didn't want to listen to the men in the Lord. They didn't want to listen to righteousness. They didn't want to change their ways. They didn't want to repent. You know, figured that they can can uh, you know work, work this shit out by themselves or, or, or work the case you know work the case but maybe by their own uh, vain opinions. You know. But that's the trap and the snare that the Lord laid before you to believe in such things. You know. It's Romans 9 verse 15, like I mentioned before, right? It says, um, for he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that sheareth the mercy. It's the Most High's decision at the end of the day, right? And the Most High have already decided. And he's decided that a large group of our people are going to be destroyed, right? And a small remnant of our people are going to be delivered. That's what he has decided. So there's, like I said, there's nothing you can do for that larger portion of our people. There's nothing at all. They're going to kill each other, man. They're going to destroy one another. They're going to, they're going to be destroyed by Esau and other nations or, or whatever the case may be. Right? It's going to happen. You are not going to prevent it. And in fact, like I said, things are going to get far worse than what they are now. Right? Because that is the Lord, that is the most high's design. That is his will. Right? And so there's nothing you could do about that. Okay, and we understand that. I don't know why these, these dudes don't understand that. Because, you know, they, like I said, they're, they're motivated by money. You know, sus you know, subscriptions, you know, people coming into the church. That's what they're motivated by, motivated by. You know, they're not really on the same wavelength of, of what this is really all about. They're not in tune with the spirit. You know? Is First Peter chapter four and verse seventeen it says, "For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God, right? That's the Israelites. So judgment's coming for us, for our people, man. Right? So and if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of, of the Most High? Right? So like I said, even even the men of the Lord are going to go through trials and tribulations and sufferings. Right? But what about them that don't obey the gospel? What's, what's going to happen to them? Well, they're not going to make it through it. We already see, we already read that the Most High care for His elect, so the Lord's going to make sure that they're going to get through it, right? But those that don't obey the gospel of the Most High, they're not going to make it, man. And that's just the reality of it. They ain't going to fucking make it. So you can try and save all of Israel if you want, but this, this, that's that's vain. Okay, that's a whole waste of time right there. Okay, the Most High is going to take them out, right? So then if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So wherefore let them suffer according to the will of God, right? To the will of God. They're gonna suffer to the will of God, right? Some some to destruction. Some are gonna to suffer to, to destruction, right? In wickedness. Right? Others are gonna to suffer to righteousness and, and glory. You know? So wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing. As unto a faithful creator. Right, so we just we just read about um, um oh, let me read it again because I've gone the words. Right, yeah, judgment must uh, begin at the house of God, right? We just read that, right? So here in Ezekiel 9, verse 6, it says this, it says, it says uh, slate utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, okay, which is a mark of exemption. Okay, that is the scene of, of the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, in the elect's foreheads, in their minds, right? That is the elect, the mark of the elect exemption, right? Which is very different to Esau's mark, because, like, you know, IYC and these other kinds, they like to run interference and confusion, right? And, and, and act like these, these marks are the same and all this kind of stupidness right but anybody that's diligent enough to go through these scriptures and and break down words right you'll know that these these things are not the same right but like i said they like to run interference and confusion man because they like to dumb down their, their 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 um their congregations man right but this mark is completely different uh to the mark you find in, in, in revelation chapter 13. 
right? So yeah, but come not in, near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Right? Again, the house of God, right? Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. And he said unto them, Defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. Right? So the, bad, the time of Jacob's trouble was coming. And the Lord is not going to... Um, he's, he's not going to have mercy. He's not going to hold back. Right, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna do you in, right? And it came to pass while they were slaying them, and I, 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 that's what I really wanted. Yeah, let me read on. And it came to pass while they were slaying them, and I was left that I fell upon my face and cried and said, Ah, Lord Yahweh, without destroy all the residue of Israel in thy pouring out of thy of thy fury upon Jerusalem, right? Well, we know the Lord is not gonna destroy all these people. Even though it might look like that, because the Lord's wrath is going to be hot, you know, hot against this man. But we know the Lord has his remnant, right? We know he has his elect, right? Verse 9 says, And then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great, right? And it's true, it's, it's fucking, it's crazy, right? On a, on a greater level than it's ever been. That people are, are proper, properly um, deranged, man, and, and, and retarded, <laughs> you know? Degenerate, right? Properly, right? So, the Lord is gonna is, is gonna come for them, right? It says the land is full of blood, right? It, well, the, the IUIC were out there, uh, um, well, protesting if you like, right out there, because because Jake killing each other in the streets, man. The city is full, the, the land is full of blood. You know, there's these examples, man. So this is this is gonna be this way, right? And the city of of and the city full of perverseness, right? You got you got you got flaming J cat there. You got you know transformer J cat. You got all kind of J cat there, man. Full of depravity. All right, the city is full of perverseness. For they say the Lord have forsaken the earth. The Lord seeth not. Yeah, you don't think the Most High got an issue with the things that are going on. You know that he somehow is with it, right? When he when he when he when he isn't, man. Right, verse ten, and and as for me also, my eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recomp recompense their way upon their upon their head. Head, right? And again, the Lord is not going to have pity; He's not going to feel sorry. You're, you're, you're His children, yeah, it's true. He loves us, yes, it's true, but He ain't going to have pity. He's not going to have pity in the, in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, you're going to feel the Lord's wrath. Like I said, the only person, you know, only people that he's going to have mercy upon are his elect of the children of Israel. That is it. Okay, everybody, every every other Jake's going to catch catch these hands, man. <laughs> you know? All right, I'm going to close out with this, right? It's from John chapter 4, verse 23. All right? It says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him, right? And this is, we keep going on about the, the importance of having 100% truth, right? Knowing the names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All these things are vitally important. Know what the MLTB is, right? These are all parts of the armor that, that we need to put on for ourselves to, to protect ourselves from the wiles of the devil. And, and these guys, they, they're, they're lacking pieces of equipment, man. They've got chinks in all, all their armors and you know, and they're missing breastplates and all kinds of shit. So <laughs> when that time comes, these men are going to flop. These men are going to flop. These men are going to be injured, man, and, and the Satan's going to take them. Right? It is, in, it is vitally important to have 100% truth. Right? To know exactly what these prophecies are all about. Okay? So you can avoid the things that the Most High have warned us about. But again, it's not open to everybody. Okay, it's, it's really only for the elect, right? Everybody else is not going to be going to, not going to be able to see it. And again, this table, which is the scriptures, is going to be a, a snare and a, and, a, and a stumbling block unto them, right? And we can't make no one see it. We can't, we can't, we can't make nobody see it. it, it that's not that's not a, our purpose. Our purpose is to is to give the message, right? And whether the Lord wants you to wake up or not, He will deal with that. He will open your mind. Open your eyes, open your ears. He'll do that. It's not for us to do. Okay, we don't get to, we don't get to choose and decide who 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 gets it, who don't get it. It's never it was never been, it's never been about us. 
right? We're simply doing the will of the Heavenly Father to go out here and teach. Teach the truth, right? And, 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 and do it in, in sincerity, man, and not for filthy lucre's sake or for your own personal gain, you know? Like Paul said, we do it all for the elect's sake, man. We do it for your Yahweh Shai, we do it for the Heavenly Father. You know, I mean, of course, like, you know, if we are deemed to be worthy of salvation, okay, we're going to receive everything that comes with that. You know, the reward, you know. But none of this that we do is, is for our own gain in, in this world. You know? But the same can't be said for these other camps, man, that seem to be very focused on, you know, building and growing and, you know, <laughs> riding upon horses and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, the, the, these things are not, you know, they're not interesting to us. <laughs> we don't, we don't want, we don't want these things, right? We're not after these things in this world. All right? We're here to teach for the elect's sake so they... Uh, can wake up and so the number of Israel, can, you know, the elected Israel can be sealed and so this place can be destroyed. Okay, that is all we want. Okay, we want, you know, we want this to wrap up ASAP. Okay, we're not here to prolong our stay, you know. But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna end there. Lord willing, this has been edifying, and I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next video. So, till next time, I say Shalom.